Vegetables, starches, meat is what you're. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty heavy on those. Pretty heavy on those. You've been uh, Mrs. Fletcher. Oh, oh, that's hard to question. You know, I've been Mrs. Fletcher since I was uh, about a year ago. We got buried in November, technically, and uh, recently we got Indian style wedding. So, February. Uh, so, so tell us about a little bit about your Indian background. Well, you know, I was uh, born and raised in Africa. That's Africa. Um, and uh, we had a lot of fun. My mother taught me how to cook since I was 12. Okay. You know, I was training for a good man. Training for a good man. I got a good man now. You got a good man, okay. He's, he's white. So, you, he's a white man. He's a white man. What does that say? What does the parents think about that? Well, you know, as long as I stick to my Indian heritage and cook him good food, yep. everything is okay. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> Good. Okay, and so you're going to be cooking in the lunch and dinner round, and uh, we want to know, like, is there anything that's going to be out there that could uh, possibly throw you off your game? Oh, you know, Indian people, we don't do seafood. No seafood. Seafood, I don't know. All right, so if hopefully there's no seafood. Hopefully yeah. there's no seafood. Uh, so, Justin, uh, tell us a little bit from, uh, about where you're from. I'm from Indiana. Okay, so where at? Where it's at? a state in the middle of the country. It's an okay. I-state. You may, you may have heard of it. It doesn't matter where I'm in state I'm from, but it's, it's, it's a state in the middle of the country. Oh, and tell us a little bit about your culinary uh, experience. Where did you get your inspiration? Where did you pick up your skills? Where did you really get that true passion for cooking? True passion for cooking came probably when my mom used to just put out food. She would she worked nights. She would go to work. I'd stay at home. I'd make my meal. And, you know, creativity. So you're, uh, you're going to be in the lunch round, and if you win, you're going to be in the dinner round. Tell us a little bit about something that we might see. Like, what are you going to kind of draw on? Like, what, what kind of, what's your, what's your style that you're going to kind of probably take the ingredients and transform into? My soul. Chef <laughs> Montgomery, <laughs> sir. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and uh, your culinary experience. I hail from um, the Napa Valley. I, I grew up in St. Helena, then moved to Sonoma County on the other side of the mountains, if you will. Uh, grew up uh, watching my mom cook, big Italian family, and then uh, dabbled in the catering world for a while and just paid close attention to the chefs of, uh, as I was being a waiter. So I've, I've dabbled in the hospitality world or chef world, restaurant world. Tell us a little bit about your mom and what she liked to cook and what, what you really look forward to. So most of the time, my mom was very innovative when it came to the ingredients. So you'd have all kinds of random things that you wouldn't think would go together, kind of like chocks, and come up with really good things to eat for dinner. And today felt very important. Today I think feels very similar to how that was growing up. Tell us what the chocks competition, Sacramento <laughs> Street. Very excited to have all of you here. I'd first like to introduce myself, Commissioner Hartel. My little assistant over here, little buddy, <laughs> aka Christopher Goebel. Um, next, I'd like to introduce our judges. So first, we have Judge Jamie Jamerson. Hey, everybody! I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> next, we have Judge Burgerberg. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys today. <laughs> and next, we have Judge Roberto. Be prepared to be chopped. <laughs> next, I'd like to introduce. So first, a little bit of rules. So first, we're gonna do breakfast round lunch round, dinner round, and then a dessert round. So, competing at breakfast, we have Chef Pitts. <laughs> 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 Watch out, this guy. Well said. 
Well yes. said. Well yes. said. <laughs> Next, we have Chef Montgomery. Chef he Montgomery will, grew up in a kitchen. He, he's known. So we're going to have four mystery ingredients. The, the, dish, uh, go ahead, go ahead. the dish that you cook has to incorporate all four ingredients. So, for example, if we give you, what's something? Strawberries. It's better to incorporate the strawberries in your meal than just cut them up all pretty on the side because, come on, we're trying to make a gourmet meal. Gourmet breakfast. Bring any of your own ingredients or pull anything like chocolate or whatnot out of your pocket to use that everyone else doesn't have access to, you'll be immediately chopped. Immediately. The it looks, you have 45 minutes to cook your meal. If you guys want to clean the station, make sure you're ready to go. You want to go right All right, we ready to get the mystery ingredients together? Well, as soon as they feel like they're staking.